Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. You are with Cikgu Dila and today we will learn about living things and non-living things. Okay, so living things. Living things is some things that are alive. Okay, for example, the first one, can you guess it? What is it? So that is humans the second one uh, that one is an elephant actually a uh, bye my bad my drawing okay so that the third one is a plant okay so the first one human animals and plants all of these three things are things that are alive that's mean all of these are living things Next, okay, you can see that girl dancing. Okay, so human is one type of living things. It can be a baby, it can be a children, and it also can be an adult. Okay, so that is a human. Next, we have animals. What? <laughs> okay, so animals. Animals, there is a lot of animals around us. For example, this is just an example. We have cat, we have clownfish, we have lots of other type of fish, we have birds. So all of that is a living, living things. Living things can be humans, can be animals, and living things also can be a plant. So for example, like the top one, so that is a flowering plants we have a fruit okay uh, we have a fruit like a babaya papaya like a papaya like a grape so we have a lot of other type of fruit so that's also a plant and plant is a living things now let's move to non-living things you see so you see there is a fan there is a table there is a car so if you can see in front of me there is a mic okay this is also non-living things so non-living things is the things are not alive okay things that are not alive now let's see the characteristics of living things so we can differentiate between living things and non-living things so you see, this one, we have a zebra. The zebra is drinking water. A girl that eating some things. And also a girl watering the plant. So this shows that living things need food and water. Next, the second thing is, ah, you see that fish? There is a bubble come out from the mouth of the fish. Mm, there is a girl. And a plant. Okay, from this all this diagram, we can conclude that animals, plants, and human breathe. So that means all living things are breathing. The third one is the characteristics of living things. You see, there is an eagle and a bird. There is a man and a woman jogging or walking, maybe. <laughs> okay. So the third one, we saw a dog running and a duck swimming. So here we can conclude that living things can move. Okay. So next, the other characteristics of living things is, you can see there is an egg, turns into a chicken. There is a baby, next it's grow up to become a a boy. Next, there is a very little cute kitten. It grow up and it's become a cat. And there is a plant a growing up. So, what can we conclude here is living things grow. Next, another characteristic of living things is living things can produce young. Like me, I also can produce young. Okay, I can have a baby. Inshallah. Okay, like this elephant. Elephants can produce young. There is a baby elephant. 
and birds also can produce young. Same goes like plants. Plants also can produce young. Okay, next. Hmm. Let's identify the living things and non-living things. Okay, you can pause this video if you can't and then try to list out all the living things and non-living things in this diagram. So, in this diagram, you can see there is a lot of living things, a lot of non-living things. For example, the living things, we have humans, we have the dog, we have the plants, we have kids playing in the playground, we have a glit we have a girl cycling a bicycle. So the girl is a living thing, but the bicycle is not living things. There is a little boy behind that. They are playing. The, he is okay. He is playing a kite. So that boy is a living thing, but the kite is not living things. Okay. Next, we move to similar and different. Hmm. What is similar? What is the difference? So see, here we have an eagle, and we have an aeroplane, okay. So we know that both of these things can fly. So what is the difference? So eagle, eagle can breathe, but aeroplane cannot breathe. Eagle need water, but aeroplane don't need water. Aeroplane need gas, okay. That is a burning fuel for the, that is the fuel for the aeroplane. So that the aeroplane can move, both can move. The aeroplane can move, the eagle also can move. But the difference is, eagle is an animal. Animal can reproduce. But for aeroplane, can aeroplane reproduce? No, aeroplane cannot reproduce. Okay, next. Oh, grow. Yes, eagle can grow, but aeroplane cannot Let's move to the similar and different slope. Okay, so let's see. That is a balloon and okay, that's a very cute sugar glider. Okay, so let's compare. So you can do this as an exercise after this. Okay, you can pause and then type your answer at the comment sections. Okay, so you can state, okay, what is the difference between the balloon and sugar glider? Okay, and the similar and the difference. So you can see clearly the difference between living things and non-living things. Next, we move to ah, small object. Okay, so object is non-living things. So we have a lot of small object, for example, like a eraser, cotton bud, earrings, pencil, button, and coins. So, ah, paper clip. Okay, so all of this are small objects. And objects are non-living things. Next, we have big object. Okay, for example, like house, car, aeroplanes, and cardboard. So you can name out another things that another things another objects that are big. Okay, next, we have. Ah, but now we need to compare between small object and big object. Okay. So that is a rice cooker and refrigerator. So can you compare which one is smaller, which one is bigger? Mm, okay, the rice cooker is smaller than the refrigerator. <laughs> bigger, smaller, big and small object. Okay, so we have the whiteboard. We have the dust. Okay, that one is to rub the whiteboard. What do we call? I forgot. Okay, so that whiteboard is bigger than uh, eraser. I, I, we cannot say the eraser. <laughs> I forgot, sorry. So that is smaller. Next, bigger, smaller object. We have bicycle, we have bus. Okay, so the bicycle is smaller than a bus. So these all are Non-living things, it is an object. Object is non-living things. Next, small animals. Okay, that one is uh, object. Object is non-living things. But animals, animals is a living thing. So let's see what is the small animal. Okay, that is ant, fly, butterfly. Uh, this one I forgot. 
<laughs> yeah, you can type it. What is that? Okay, we have snail and worm. Okay, so now let's move to big animal. Okay, so big animals can be a whale. Okay, this one is a normal whale, but the blue whale, do you know that blue whale is the most biggest animal? It can be up to 24 size of an elephant. That is the blue whale. Th this is a normal whale. The blue whale, you can find it. Uh, just search it, blue whale, and you can see that blue whales. It's big enough, more than an elephant. Okay, elephant is the big animals. Lion, horse, and also a crocodile. Okay, uh, finally. So, let's identify the biggest and smallest animal. But in this diagram, we can see elephant is the biggest animals in this diagram. And the smallest animals, I think I cannot find it. Can you find it for me? Uh, so can you find it for me and write it at the comment sections. Okay, so I think that's it for our lessons today. So remember to like and subscribe my videos for more. I love you all. So bye. Thank you for listening. Bye.